Hey guys, Tyg here, and as Marquez says, cheap phones are getting good, and good phones are getting cheap. And today I have the Agatel Ado 4S and the Honor 8. Which phone is the mid-range king? Both the Alcatel Ido 4S and the Honor 8 are both fantastic for the price. For just under $400, they can seriously compete against pricier flagships like the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and the iPhone 6S. Both are made out of two sheets of glass and metal rails on the side. Also, both of them have unique reflections on the back of the phone and it's a fingerprint magnet. Basically, the build quality is neck and neck and a few noticeable difference are that the Ido 4S has a camera bump while the Honor 8 doesn't. And the Honor 8 is noticeably more slipperier because of the smoother metal rails. And when I go outside, I generally get concerned that I drop this phone and damage it. But as in design and build quality, I say that this is a tie. So writing down the specs briefly, the Honor 8 has a Kirin 950 CPU, Mali T880 GPU, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card slot for $399. On the other hand, the Alcatel Ido 4S has a Snapdragon 652 CPU, Adreno 510 GPU, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, also with a micro SD card slot. Performance wise, the Honor 8 consistently outperformed the Ido 4S slightly in real world usage and in benchmarks. The Honor 8 loaded apps more quickly and was able to have more apps run in the background due to more RAM. Also the Honor 8 stays cooler and the Ido 4S gets quite warm actually under a heavy load. Both of these phones have fingerprint scanners similarly placed on the back of the phone but here Honor 8 does better as well being more reliable. The Ido 4S fingerprint scanner is pretty iffy compared to the Honor 8's quickness and accuracy. So performance wise, the Honor 8 takes the cake. Moving on to software, this is when these two devices start differentiating themselves majorly. With the Alcatel Ido 4S, the software is near stock Android and it's very lightly skinned. The icons are maybe a little bit different and Alcatel has their own unique features which I'll talk about later in the video. But there's nothing to be surprised about, it's solid um, and nothing to complain about really. But Honor 8 software known as EMUI is pretty discouraging. It basically takes the best feature of Android and takes it away. And I can't live without an app drawer. Not having an app drawer makes everything so clunky and disorganized. Um, and I really tried using this, I really tried, but I just can't. It's um, I really don't know why Honor made this look more like iOS and look even the the settings it looks like iOS um, I, I'm staying with Android for a reason and they took that reason away from me Luckily, I'm using Nova launcher now So it fixes most of the problem, but the notification slide down is also poorly implicated I don't know why they made the notification and the shortcut separate it just takes another step and I can quickly expand the notification on the lock screen as well. The software is not a deal breaker at all because a uh, launcher fixes most of the problem, but they have a lot of work to do. Dude, you're sweating. <laughs> Swallow it. <laughs> is it hot? <laughs> but it does come with some nice tricks like voice recognition. For example, Harambi, wake up. <laughs> Next up is displays, and the Honor 8 has a 5.2 inch 1080p display, while the Idol for us has a 5.5 inch 1440p display. Sharpness and pixel density wise, the Ido 4S definitely wins. The 1440p display is a lot sharper and the bigger display is what I prefer. But the Honor 8 is definitely no slouch either. It's a great 1080p display and has fantastic color reproduction. Compared to the Ido 4S, the colors are much more accurate and it makes the Ido 4S look a lot yellower. Brightness wise, they're both equal as well and viewing outdoor is no problem. So both have their pros and cons 
but I have to give the slight edge to the Honor 8 for its great color reproduction. Also, since it has a lower resolution display, it naturally has better battery life than the Idol 4S. The Honor 8 easily gets me through the day with about 4-5 to five hours of on-screen time. The Idol 4S is a bit lackluster though with its 3-4 to four hours of on-screen time and it can barely get through the day with heavy usage even though both of them have 3000 million power battery capacity. None of them have wireless charging but both of them have quick charging which is good for the Idol 4S but the Honor 8 is a clear winner for the battery category. So the next topic is a pretty big topic and it's the camera. And usually mid-range phones and budget phones, the camera is the biggest downside. But surprisingly, both of them are excellent on this category in different situations. The Idol 4S has a 60 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2. On the other hand, the Honor 8 has a 12 megapixel dual lens camera. How this works is that one lens captures color, while the other monochrome lens captures more light and increased sharpness. And they claim that this captures more detailed photos as well as great low light performance. Before we examine the sample pictures, let's take a look at the camera's layout. The Auto 4S is very simple and you can slide to different modes and has a manual mode for pictures. On the other hand, the Honor 8 has loads of different modes like manual photo and video mode, beauty mode, and even good food mode. And since the Honor 8 has dual lens, there's a feature where you can change focus after you take the picture, creating bokeh photos. And the bokeh doesn't look bad either. Anyways, now let's take a look at the photos. I must admit, in daylight, the Ida 4S is better. It just offers much more realistic shots with the color production and sharpness. The Honor 8, despite having a dedicated lens for color, lacked saturation in my opinion, and it was way too over sharpness. It resulted in less realistic pictures and you can definitely see it in the flower picture. But in nighttime is where the Honor 8 beats out the Auto 4S. With its dual lens, it was able to produce the same amount of light with significantly less grain. It was overall sharper as well and the Auto 4S tends to get more blurry shots. The Honor 8 shines in low light. Although both of them have 8 megapixel camera, the Honor 8 offers more true to life colors, sharpness, and better dynamic range. It also has beauty mode and it makes me look too gorgeous in my opinion. Moving on to the speakers, the Auto 4S has dual front facing speakers while the Honor 8 has one tiny speaker on the bottom. It's no competition. The Auto 4S sounds better, fuller, and much louder. Now let's talk about what unique features these two have and both of them have a special button that allows you to customize it. The Alcatel Idol 4S has the boom key, which is a button that you can customize to launch like certain different apps, take screenshots, and activate the boom effects, which enhances sound quality and other different features. On the other hand, the fingerprint scanner on the Honor 8 is also a customizable button that allows you to launch different apps, take screenshots, and do slide gestures. The fingerprint scanner acts as a touchpad and you can use it to slide down the notification bar as well as slide through different photos. Another feature that the Honor 8 has is that it has USB Type-C rather than the micro USB on the Idol 4S. Last but not least, let's talk about the value. For just $400, the Idol 4S gets you a phone, a VR headset, which is fantastic, and a clear Incipio case. It offers fantastic value with a great phone. On the other hand, if you pre-order the Honor 8 right now, you could get $50 off through their website, or even better, if you pre-order through Newegg, you get a $50 gift card, JBL headphones that goes for $125, and a clear case. That's a fantastic value as well, but it is only pre-order. So if you are pre-ordering the Honor 8, they're as equally as valuable, but if you're not pre-ordering, the Idol 4S wins here. So in conclusion, the Idol 4S has better software, bigger and more high res display, great camera, and fantastic speakers at great value. The Honor 8 on the other hand has great battery life due to its lower res display, but the display has fantastic color reproduction, the camera is great in low light, and performs consistently faster. Both of them are great phones and it's hard to choose a clear winner here, but it basically comes down to you 
and what categories matters the most. And for me, I have to give the slight edge to the Aquatel Idol 4S. Well, that's basically guys, that was the comparison video of the Aquatel Idol 4S and the Honor 8. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe for more similar content like this. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.